the good life full of fun seems to be the ideal yes the good life lets you hide all the sadness you feel you won't Ciao, buongiorno. Welcome to our kitchen. This is Cooking Italian with Joe, and we're excited today. We're going to do a little dolce, which is sweets or uh, desserts, is what it means. So, and I have a helper today. This is my little Hi. guy here. What's your name? Vito Morgan. How did you end up here in the kitchen? I'm just curious. Were you invited here to help me today? I'm here my dad. Oh, that's it. So, Vito, what are we going to make today? Tell me what. Oh, uh, we are going to try to make some Nutella crepes. Yeah, we're not going to try to make them. We're going to make them. Yep. And do we love Nutella crepes? Yep. First off, do we love Nutella? Yes. Yes. When were you first introduced to Nutella? Do you remember? Italy. Italy. Oh, that's the first time. And Nutella crepes, that was the first time. Where do we go to get Nutella crepes? Pescaci. Pescaci. So there's a there's a village right near our house, right? We have a house in Italy. And we drive up there, what is it, like 10, 15 minutes away. And we get, we first we always have trouble finding parking, right? Mm -hmm. Then what? Um, then we have to walk. Yep. And then through the... Stone streets of the village, and then we get where? Uh, to the crepe stand. Crepe stand. It's kind of like, right? It's coming up the hill. It's like uh, a special spot. And then who's? What's the name of the stand? Um, Michael. Michael's right, and then Michael's there, right? And he's got the nice. he's got the hat on, yep. right? And what's he use? He uses this. Yeah. Nothing different, right? And he uses it's our little. Silver. It didn't just Oh, so it is different than that. It's not exactly the same. And then he's got, here's our spreader, right? And then we've got all kinds of little utensils. So first thing we need to make, even though Vito would probably like to dive into the Nutella, and I think there's a little bit of evidence that he had some of the white chocolate already. So we've, we're going to do a white chocolate, uh, which is a half and half, or a chocolate, uh, obviously Nutella, which is great. And, and so you guys are looking here, I, I put the Nutella in some warm water, just so you know what the heck's going on over there. But the first thing we need to do is make crepes. There's a lot of different recipes on crepes. Remember, crepe is going to be kind of an eggy flavor, so we want to put uh, an eggy flavor, obviously, in the in the crepe. So we're going to throw our dry ingredients in first, and what we have here is one and a half cups of flour. I've got four tablespoons of uh, melted butter. We've got some almonds to sprinkle on the on the crepe if we want. We've got four whole eggs, which I'm going to beat, and we've got two cups of uh, two cups of milk, and that's pretty much it. I'm not putting any salt in because my butter already is salted. Okay, so, so everybody knows. So I'm going to throw in our flour, and this is not necessarily a part you're always familiar with, right? You're going to be my helper, pop that right in the sink. We good with that? Mm -hmm. Right? And then what I always like to do is I like to, and there's no necessarily right or wrong, if you will, but I like to make sure that everything's really well as far as being incorporated. So what I'll do is I'll mix the eggs, right? And then I'll put the eggs right in the milk, right? And then I'm going to stir that up. There's my little helper. You're going to throw that in there, right? Now here's our challenge. I've got a recipe. I use it regularly. A lot of different recipes I've tried. No matter what I do, I always end up either adding more fluid or more, uh, perfect, or more dry ingredients. So I'm going to throw that in there. We're doing good. I'm going to whip it in there, right? And there we go. And our crepe batter is going to be, and I can tell you right now. Should I start uh, buttering up the... I don't know. Let's give it a minute. Hold on one second. So let me ask you a question, Vito. What is your favorite part of a crepe? The Nutella. The Nutella. Have you ever had just a crepe? Uh, yeah. No. Because crepes are French. Did you know that? Yeah, I take French ones. Oh, so good. You take French in school? Where do you go to school? Uh, Casanova. You like school? Yeah. And you're, I mean, you like to cook, but you're, you also love to what? What's your favorite thing to do in the kitchen? Bake. You're a great baker, right? So, so as you uh, saw, what I did is I incorporated some things in there. And in this case, eh, I'm going to go a little bit, a little bit more, but I'm not going to use that whole, whole bit because what I'm looking for is almost like a thick syrup if you guys can see that, okay? And that's perfect right there. And sometimes uh, you want to make sure everything's really well as far as its incorporation. Then we throw our butter in, okay? Oh, that's good. I love butter. Butter's good, right? Mm -hmm. You can throw that in the sink for me? 
you're awesome, my great helper. And it's immediately going to froth it up a little bit and it's going to make it creamy. So that's pretty much your crepe mixture, right there. That's it. How's it look? That's not complicated, right? So it's, it's thinner than if you would like a pancake mixture. And that's going to give us a lot of crepe. So, you ready? Now the fun part's going to come. So what I have here, now you don't need to do uh, a crepe maker. These are great. I love it because it's got that little edge on the side so that it doesn't overflow. Uh, but what you'll find is um, you can do it easily right on the stove. You can go right in the pan, make a crepe, and, um, and you're going to toast it, if you will, side to side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the, we're going to put our um, butter, but we're going to put our topping, if you will, our inside the Nutella. Nutella and, and white chocolate. And for me, I, I like to put some almonds in there or whatever. So I'm going to throw that in there. So go ahead, throw that right on there. Woo! I'm going to turn that down just a touch. That's good, though. That's good. Pop that up. You're the man. And I got a little brush here just to... Right now, this is a non-stick anyway, but it's nice to... It's nice to just give it that extra so you're not... Um, so it's not going to stick at all, okay? And then what do we got? We've got our scooper here. You want to jump? You're going to jump in there? All right, rock and roll. So should I call you Michael right now? Is that what you are? Oh, I'm sticking with Vito. Oh, you're sticking with Vito. All right. Pop another one more on there. Maybe a half of one. Kind of in a hurry. Yeah. And you can really smell. You smell the egg. It is, isn't it? So this is a little tool that they use. And uh, look at that, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. And then you just bring it right over the side, the edge. I see it immediately kind of drying. Dries right up, right? Yep. And there you go. And then it's got those little holes in there. Fill it right up. Oh, we got a little little overflow. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Dad did not. Sorry, don't even worry about it. I'm not, I'm not Michael. Out. There's uh, obviously it's. It's apparent here that I'm There's definitely like it. There's definitely a difference. Well, that's going to toast right up. That's going to work perfect. Okay, we're not ready for that, sweetheart. Hold on one minute. Are you going to just get it? You're getting it ready? You're excited? Yes. And then what you're going to see is this thing's going to start to bubble. So same thing in your uh, at your house if you're using a pan. Now we love, see that doesn't even stick at all. And that's not browning yet, so you want to wait until it's browning. We love crepes. That's why I got the... Uh, yep. You tell a great maker, right? How many years have you been going to Italy? Uh, basically, whole life. What else do they sell up at Michael's place that we love? Gelato! Gelato. What's your favorite uh, flavor of gelato? It's like lemon. Lemon? Do you mix it with anything? Because sometimes when we go up there, we can get uh, half I, lemon. Yeah, I, I just get like, I think sometimes, most of the time I get lemon. Other times I get like lemon with vanilla. Lemon with vanilla, all right. Woo! That baby's working good. Actually, I might what? make a couple because I can bring it's some not done at all. Boy, that smells good, I'll tell you. I love the smell that you know a crepe is gonna have necessarily it's characteristically made with with the egg, or the egg is a characteristic of it. So still got another minute to go. Yeah, it's trying to rush it. Yeah, it's good. You know what it'll fix that? Nutella. Nutella. Nutella fixes anything. Anything and everything. It really does. It's like a glue. It's like an adhesive. Yeah. Sugary adhesive, right? Mm -hmm. Well, there it goes. She's starting to brown really good right now. All right, so we're going to flip that bad boy, right? Holy mackerel. Michael does it better. Beautiful. Michael's not here. Michael's not here. You're stuck with dad. That's beautiful. How's that smell? Oh. Is that good? Oh, yeah. All right, so go ahead. So you're gonna spread it. Yeah, bring it a little closer, nice. So you don't get it all over. There you go. Load it right on there. Put a big, huge hunk on there. Yeah, that's good right there. Cause it all won't come off. And then go ahead and throw it right on there. Beautiful. Stay right there. Stay right there. I'm coming around. Yes. Awesome. Good. You're good right there. That's perfect. Perfect. That's good. All right. And then pop that back in your dish. There you go. All right. Now, when Michael does it up in Pescachi, he does the half. I mean, he's the man, right? Would you agree with that? But this is basically what they do. And you go up there, and uh, everybody gathers there. There's restaurants all over the village, right? 
So we usually go somewhere to eat or dad makes your dinner in the house, right? Mm -hmm. You remember some of the meals dad made for you in the house this last uh, year when we went? Or no? Orchiette. Orchiette, hey, that's right. Sauce, what else? Sausage. Are you going to go with white? You want to go white? Yep. Did that get too hard? That's good, that's good. Throw a big, yeah. Good, right there. Throw it right on there. Yeah, perfect. Good. Yeah, so we got white chocolate. Now what we did is we took the white chocolate, melted it, and obviously with our great preparation here for our little video, it didn't stay melted as well. But it's all right, it's melted now, right? Yep. There it goes. Now that is not nearly as pretty as Michael makes it. Would you agree with that? He has it all white. He's got it all beautiful, right? We're gonna flip it in half, right? Yep. Oh, oh. Look at that puppy, right? And then what are we gonna do? Flip it again. Flip it again, right? He does that little thing, doesn't he? He goes like this. Does the whole thing. He does actually has two. Then he flips it one more time. Ah, uh, there's no way I can flip that one more time. Are you sure? That's the best I got. Well, and then they usually now some of the places do it just like that, right? Yeah. So they, they do it like that. And, a little and they put it in a little coaster, a little cup. How's that look? All right, so wait, that's going to be hot, so give it a sec, yep. and then we, for the video, we want you to, to make sure that uh, you can taste it and give us the, the perfect right, flavor. You can do one more? Because yep. they're pretty easy, right? Go ahead. Go really light with it. If you rest the wood on the edge. Then you don't have to have to worry about that happening. I think I'm going to call you Michael. That's how good you are at this right now. Dad. Yeah. One question. Do you remember? Well, I go down there every year, month for my birthday. It's in August. Mm -hmm. Every year and every month. Um, Where? Italy, you're talking about. Yep. No. Um, do you remember what I would get on my birthday cream? No, I don't. Remind me. I got a Nutella. Yeah. White chocolate. White chocolate. And M&M's. Oh, yeah. That was good. Can that cause diabetes in one serving of grape? <laughs> Is that what it could cause? Uh, yeah, I think so. All right, let me switch spots with you. That's great. You did a great job on that, Vito. How's your crepe? Is it cooling down a little bit? Yep. So you've already a little bit out of What are you talking about? <laughs> Seriously? Vito, yeah. you know, I would never do that. That's your crepe. Why would I ever take a bite out of your crepe? How come there's that little would never happen. Crepe there. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, you know what it must have been from the knife? It oh, must yeah. have been from so the knife. I must have caught it. Oh, I totally agree with you. Awesome. So, so why don't we do one more here and then we'll call yeah. it a day, right? So you can see how, see how it's starting to brown a little bit, but it's not quite firm enough yet. Because I'm thinking we should do two. You do one, I do one. How's yeah. that sound? But just for the record, you can't taste mine. Well, you taste I, mine. I know it's different because I made it. You know what I mean? I bought the ingredients. Yep. I made it. Is that fair to say that? Our camera person is... Are you making some gesture that you <laughs> yourself would like to? Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, so I am going to spread that puppy right there. Oh, man, that smells good. Does that bring it right back to Italy? Oh, I'll yeah. tell you, every time I take a flavor of Nutella, my grandmother used to uh, give us Nutella on bread. She used to take bread, Italian bread, toast it with butter, and then she would uh, yeah, spread Nutella. Nutella sandwich. Yeah, Nutella sandwich. She wouldn't do two slices, though. She'd do one slice, put it over the top, and then she had these little spoons, these little, um, like, a, like a regular spoon. I don't want white on mine, honey. Yeah. And then it had a flat edge. They were square, like a square shovel. And they would act as like a spoon, plus you could spread stuff with them. They were great. And then I had the, the almonds here. And that's one thing that I like to do with mine, is I like to spread. Yep. Do a few of the almonds on there. Ho, ho. You know why I put the almonds on there? Because it makes it healthy. That's why. 
Without the almonds, it's not healthy for you. But when you put the almonds on there, they're really good for you. <laughs> so. All right, so we've got Bobby Darren going. Woo! We're going to split that puppy in half. Now, Michael has two knives when he does yep, it. Yep, he's like, what the hell? Yeah. He's like a samurai. He's like one of those, what are those uh, places you go to? Oh, the hibachis. Yeah, hibachis, right? He's like hibachi, flips it, does all that stuff. So there we go. That's Nutella crepes, Italian style, in the Borio right. home kitchen. How that taste? And anybody can do that, right? Oh, yeah. Is that a great recipe and a great uh, thing to do with your son or your daughter on a Sunday yep. when it's lousy out weather-wise? You can, why not make Nutella crepes? Yep. Anything to add to the camera to share with kids? Or moms and dads about how important these are and how nutritious they are and how how really vital they are for children to help well, periodically throughout their lifetime. I don't think that they're very healthy for you. Oh, they're not. Because I even with the almonds, even if I, I put almonds on them. If I'm correct, <laughs> uh, I think that this is actually fifty percent fat. Oh, is it? <laughs> I thought it was just a lot of sugar, but that has nuts in it too. Anything yes. else to say to anybody before we uh, section it off? Nope. No. Bobby Darren's plan, Mac the Knife. You can't cut out with a better song than that. Guys, thanks for joining us. A nice, simple recipe of crepes, Nutella. You can put peanut butter, jam, jelly. You can put anything you want on the inside of it. And it's just a fun way to spend time with your family on a what isn't really such a great day outside. And uh, it's a great tradition to get involved with. And that's what this is all about, right? You don't just spend time with your family and kids yep. and enjoying life. You pretty much had it with the camera. You ready to cut it? No. Okay, you're good? I can stare at that thing all day. <laughs> that Beautiful said, piece of technology right there. <laughs> that being said, with speaking for my son Vito and myself, have a great afternoon guys. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Uh, don't be uh, don't be shy checking in on our website at Cooking Italian with Joe. In the meantime, ciao, bon, bon appetit. Enjoy the afternoon. Spend time with your family and friends. I'll talk to you guys next video.